Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of A Piece of New York. Today we find ourselves in downtown at South Street Seaport on Pier 17, and we've come to the Tin Building. Now, the Tin Building was a vision of world-renowned French chef Jean Georges, who arrived in New York City in 1985. And when he came here, he went straight to this sea market that used to be a huge hub right here on the East River, where people would come buy fresh fish, fresh food, and they would serve it in the restaurants later in that day. This served as the backdrop of that scene, and they used to have they used to sell fresh fish there as well. Now this building was built in the early 1900s and survived storms, fires, a number of different events, and eventually closed in 2005. It took eight years of restoration for Jean Georges to open it up for the building to become what it is today. Now today it's become similar to an urban hawker, what we saw a couple weeks ago on our episode right here. And what I mean by that is there's a number of different restaurants, there's a grocery market in there, places where you can buy top of the line local food. So let's go inside, check it out, see what they're all about. First impression, I am thoroughly impressed. You can tell the decor, they really, they really cared and paid attention, the smallest detail, to everything that was going on inside here. No dollar was spared. You could just tell it's just an amazing environment, an amazing atmosphere. When you come here, you're not just coming for the food, you're coming for everything that, that comes with the, the tin building. So I'm very excited to try as many vendors as I possibly can today. I feel like a kid in a candy shop. Let's go grab some food. All right, so we got this all from the first floor, and this is quite the spread. First, we have the spiced apple cider, and then over here, we got a delicious salted caramel cupcake, and then we have a raspberry danish. Mmm, that's looking delicious. And then to con continue with the sweets, I got a chocolate chip cookie, also a croissant, and then two breakfast classics, the bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich with hash browns. First things first. Let me try this croissant. Ooh, as soon as I just cut into that, it's ultra crispy. This looks damn good. Mm. It's crispy, crunchy. There was an explosion of butter. Love butter. All those layers on the inside were very soft. My goodness, that might be the best croissant I've ever had. Might have to get another one on the way out. All right, on to this Danish. I'll tell you one thing. These guys right here, every pastry that I'm cutting into, ultimate crunchiness, crispiness. Guys, you gotta look at this. I just know, before I even take a bite into it, it's gonna have that butter flavor of the croissant, and then on top of that, I'm sure there's gonna be a nice sourness and contrast with that raspberry. Cheers. That's a killer one-two punch right there. The sweetness of the drizzle, and then on top of that, that, that soft, the soft, texture that we just had from the croissant combined with the tart of the raspberry i mean wow just wow i said i was gonna get a, another croissant on the way out i am grabbing that guy instead Ooh, can't forget about this spiced apple cider 
This apple cider also has cinnamon sticks in here. That is one delicious drink. So I said everything was everything was top of the line when we walked in. And I was talking about really the decor. The food, right on par. These three that I've had thus far have been incredible. Love it. Now let me get grab some of this hash brown. You could tell just everything. I mean, John George. There's, there's nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Fried to perfection. A nice hearty flavor from that from the potatoes. Hint of salt on there as well. It's just one after another. I'm overwhelmed. This food, I'm having a system overload in my taste buds. Now, for that breakfast sandwich, take a look. The bacon, egg, and cheese. Classic breakfast. There is no shortage of bacon in there. This breakfast sandwich I got at Double Yolk. Build your own breakfast sandwich. I got the brioche, but you can choose your different type of bun. You could have an English muffin. You could have a gluten-free bun, I believe it was. And then I also decided to have the cheddar with the egg and then the bacon. But you could have avocado on there. You could have smoked salmon. However you want your breakfast sandwich, they could cook it downstairs for you. Look at this egg and cheese just dripping down. I know it's going to be delicious. Here we go. That saviness of the bacon on top of the soft dough of the buttery brioche combined with that, the, the thick melted cheese. It was phenomenal. And then, of course, the, the egg. The egg was fresh. T tastes, tastes like they just came right out of the chicken downstairs. I mean, I don't know where they got it from, but John George just prides himself on having local ingredients. It doesn't get too much more fresh than this. Continuing with a personal favorite, a chocolate chip cookie. I love chocolate chip cookies. My favorite kind of cookie. Here we go. With the chocolate chip. There's an amazing contrast between the salt as well as the deliciousness of the sugary cookie and the chocolate chips. The texture is very soft. A bit of a crunchy bottom as well. Have mercy. One after the other. And then lastly, we got this delicious salted caramel cupcake. It was a must. I mean, there were so many things from that pastry shop that looked incredible. But when I saw this, I thought, this is, this is what I need. This is what I got to have. So, cheers to this. Please ignore if I get some cream all over my face. We do know that that does happen from time to time. And sometimes it ends up on my forehead. We don't even know how. Here we go. Mm. There's also a little bit of cream filling in there as well. The cake was soft. Chocolate flavor was overwhelming. I mean, it was, it was very rich. And then the, the frosting, the saltiness. Just another knocked out of the ballpark ballpark experience that we've had with all these pastries. I wish that the Yankees would knock one out of the ballpark. They've been playing horrible. So if they don't get eliminated tonight. I want to rank all these, but I think they're all so close. How I've said before, oh, this place is number one. This is 1A. All these places just line up. Top tier of the line food. Incredible. I love it. So here we have the crispy gulf flounder tacos served on a blue corn tortilla. When it comes to tacos, love chicken, pork, steak. Love the meats. I almost got the shredded steak when I was at the counter, but I asked the guy that was serving me, and I said, hey, if you're going to choose a, choose a taco for somebody that's coming here for the first time, what's your favorite? And he said, you have to go with this gold flounder taco. The chipotle sauce, can't be beat, got to get it. Here we go. The blue corn tortilla, soft, had a nice flavor to it as well. The fish was crispy. It was... It was tender. My, my teeth just cut right through it. And then the chipotle sauce had a nice hint of spice as well. So overall, these tacos are bar none. I'm glad I went with the recommendation because, my goodness, they taste amazing. And then also squeezing that lime, the lime on there. That's the move. That's the move. It's fantastic. Well, folks. That concludes our day here downtown at the Tim Building. And what a time it was. Couldn't ask for a better way to spend the weekend. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you enjoy the content, give us a subscribe. And with the weekend only a few days away, I hope you all have a great day and a better weekend. We'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.